Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ignore the state of my hair. Um, let's just go out the window. If you can hear little like murmuring. Oh, she's awake. Hello, beautiful. I was about to say, little Miss Millie Moo is asleep in the background. But she's not asleep. I feel so pale. So yeah, as you can tell by the title, this... <laughs> This is going to be so hard to film. This is exactly the reason why I film no YouTube videos. Oh God. So yeah, as you can tell by the title, this is Little Miss Millie Moo's two month update. Um, ignore the rest of the background. She has just turned nine weeks today. I'm so so sad about it i can't believe how quick this time is going it's absolutely crazy um so yeah i'm just going to update one little things about my little millie moo for her two months up now i'm going to charge you these monthly um but we'll see how it goes can't make any promises here <laughs> so first update is her sleeping now if you had filmed this video three days ago i'd have said She's such a great sleeper. The routine is... Um, but that's just all gone out the window all of a sudden. I don't know why. I have no idea. But, so basically, I'm not saying she's a perfect sleeper. And I'm not saying I have a routine at all. Because I have absolutely routine. Um, I don't have a routine in my life. Never mind hers. But, obviously, she has her milk every three hours and at her nine o'clock milk um I always get her to sleep like in my arms um swaddle her up put some white noise on and put her in her little next to me bed and she always 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 has gone to sleep in there from nine o'clock fine obviously her next food will be about 12 um, I'll feed her again at midnight, put her back in there, and then till four o'clock she will sleep like that on her own, fast asleep. However, the last three days, she has been wide awake. I mean wide awake. And when it hits nine o'clock after that feed, there is no chance she's going to sleep. She's just nosy around the room. I don't know if it's because she can see more now, and she's got more nosy um but she's just wide awake now at nine o'clock just looking around the room she doesn't cry she's not really a cry baby um she's just looking around the room having a little laugh having a little nose um a little listen like that's all she's doing she's not crying but she will not go in her own little bed thing um like I say, she doesn't cry, she just won't settle. She'll be like, uh, uh, uh. That's all she does. Um, so, yeah, her sleeping was not too bad. Like I said, from four o'clock, I always said, to be fair, she would never sleep with me. Um, I would never co sleep. And obviously, when I first had her, she didn't want to sleep on her own, which is fully understandable. She's a newborn baby, like just left in the open no comfort no pillows because obviously you can't have pillows or blankets in there um and she slept with me for a, a good chunk of, well i'd say every single night for the first few weeks every single night she slept with me um but i didn't want to carry that on for safety reasons for my sleep reasons because i wasn't getting the sleep because i was too worried about her um my partner smoked so i didn't want her in the bed with that and yeah, all like as well, independence reasons, everything like that. I wanted to sleep in her own bed and obviously when you're tired you just give up, don't you? But the second I swaddled her and played her white noise, she was fine on her own. It was the swaddling I was missing. Um, as soon as I'd done that she would sleep on her own in her own bed. So yeah, the sleeping was going well but... Do you know what it was? It was since her injections. Since she had her injections, it all went out the window, the sleep. And now, like I say, I even have tried to 
keep her awake from like six till nine keep her like give her a bath keep her entertained um but she's just not tired i don't know why but yeah so we're still working on the sleep but it is still early days like nine weeks is nothing really um i don't expect her to be in any routine i'm not really bothered about a routine because that is not my life like last night me and her are out till half ten um so i'm not going to expect her to be asleep if we're out uh so like i say the routine is not really a thing that's probably going to be in our lives ever probably until she goes to school um and that's fine by me like i say because my life's not very routine so for me to do like the bath bed bottle no bottle bath bed or whatever and say like go put her down at seven is just not me because like I, I was out till half ten last night um I'm always out and about. I'm not really someone that stays in the house, so it just wouldn't really work for us. But yeah, we're working on it, um, and I'm sure she'll get them in the end. There's no rush. The next update is her food, well, milk. Um, I am bottle feeding, not breastfeeding. She has apt meal, the milk. Um, she absolutely loves her milk loves 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 it she has a bottle literally every three hours sometimes she doesn't even last the three hours she goes like two two and a half she she absolutely loves it and she's currently on five ounces of milk um for anyone wondering who's like pregnant because i wondered this like how you know how much to feed them and honestly i know everyone says it but you will just know like your baby will let you know so obviously she was on four ounces and they say if they dry in the bottle well they said to me there's always got to be a bit left in the bottle never let them dry in the bottle because then you don't know if they wanted more or not so so long as they've left a bit in the bottom of the bottle you'll know that's how much they want so with four ounces she was drying in it so then that's when i moved up to five ounces and so she leaves like a bit left in the five ounce bottles um and like i say she absolutely loves it i've never had any problems with feeding her at all and i have just started giving her boiled water um i was in debates of this for ages a lot of people said yes a lot of people said no i looked on the nhs website and they says yep yeah, it's completely fine to give them boiled water so long as you are bottle feeding and not breastfeeding if you're breastfeeding you can't um and she again absolutely loves water uh she was drink she drinks it quicker than a milk she loves it more than a milk um and the reason i was giving her boiled water was because one like for like hydration reasons like it's boiling hot and also um if i notice she hasn't pooed for a while i will give her the boiled water and honestly if your child is struggling to poo um give them boiled water and honestly she poos within the next hour like every single time we've gave her the water within like the hour she's pooed so it is literally a dream um and i try everything i was massaging her belly doing her running legs moving all the body around and the boiled water just works instantly <laughs> in terms of like growth and clothes size the last time she was weighed was like about two weeks ago now i'd say and she was 11 pounds seven um so that was probably about the seven week mark she was 11 pounds seven which is crazy um she was born nine pound so she obviously lost a bit of a birth weight but she put it instantly back on obviously because like i say how much she loved her milk and i was just feeding her on demand at that point because before they are back to their birth weight you have to just try and feed them as much as you can even if they don't wait for food feed them like she wasn't waking for food in the night she would go through the night but I would have to set my alarm on my phone to wake and feed her. And then once they're back to the birth weight, you can let them tell you when they want feeding, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, she's, so she's probably obviously more than £11.7 now. And she's just going into 0-3 clothes. Obviously certain brands are 
size difference like Asda's clothes are bigger um, so she's still in first size in them but other brands she's in not three I've got rid of all of her first like baby grows she doesn't fit in none of them now um or anything that I brought off when she was first born she's outgrown it all um so yeah she's now in not three <laughs> There. next clothes are also really tiny so if you're having a little baby i advise going to next or marks and spencer's clothes they were small um but don't buy from asda because they come up really big and primark clothes come up quite big so personality wise i did not know newborns have a personality i thought they sleep ate and pooed no she has the biggest personality she knows exactly what she likes and doesn't like and um, she's literally a little sassy moo already she has the cheekiest little smile she has learned to smile now um and because obviously at the start they do like smile but it's wind it's not them smiling it's them they have wind um but now she has finally learned to laugh and smile um she kind of learned that on father's day uh so we woke up father's day and she was laughing so much and since father's day she just hasn't stopped laughing she is a very happy baby she's not a cry baby at all um she rarely cries obviously i still live with my family and they've never once woken up in the night because of her um my partner obviously sleeps in the bed with me and he's never once woken up with her um as into her being loud she's just a happy baby she just locks her nose about she loves she hates being lying on her back hates it she loves to be sat up i got this chair um and she absolutely loves sitting in that. What else does she love? She loves her dad. She's definitely a daddy's girl, sadly. She's not a mommy's girl at all. She loves her dad so much. The second he comes in, she's laughing her head off. Um, I'll try and make her laugh. She has none of it, but she laughs at him all day. Uh, she, like I said, she hates being put on her back. I do struggle a bit in the day um, because she has been a little bit spoiled because there's always someone here to help me out or to hold her so at the start she was never ever ever put down um so now she will not be she won't sit on her own she can't be put down so in the day i struggled to get things done but she just started to get more aware of things so i can leave her for a tiny bit so she likes them dancing vegetables on youtube so i can leave for like say to make a cup of tea while she's watching them she won't stay interested for that long um or she likes in her little musical swingy chair and so yeah she's starting to be able to be left for like 10 minutes um but apart from that, she does not like to be left because the second you pick her up, she instantly stops crying or whinging. And so, yeah, I'm working on that. But again, I don't see the rush in teaching them to sit on their own and not cry to be held because she's a newborn baby still in my eyes. And she will eventually play on her own. She's not going to be attached to me forever and ever. So I honestly don't see the rush. If there's always someone here, like I say to hold her um, and I can get things done when everyone comes back from work I don't really see the problem in it to be honest um, so yeah if you want to teach them to sit on their own that's completely up to you but I don't see the point in it if I can cuddle her all day I will cuddle her all day um, so yeah like, like I said earlier as well she has just had her vaccine she had them last Wednesday the two in each leg that was her first vaccines at eight weeks um her aftermath of that was actually pretty good she cried for about 30 seconds after her injections and then just she was over it to be honest I brought her home and the only real side effect she had was to be really sleepy she wasn't really whingy or irritable she just wanted to sleep a lot like she slept through her milk which like i say is so unlike her um i even tried to wake for it but she was just having none of it 
So yeah, she was, was really sleepy. Other side effects I've heard obviously are they get clingy, they get sore legs. Um, I did try and give her cowpaw because from two months old they can have cowpaw because obviously you can get a high temperature after the um, injections. She does not like cowpaw. She was sick every time I gave her instantly. So I had to like drip feed it around her dummy. She is classed as a premature baby, so you do have to be careful um, and ask your doctor before you give them cowpaw at two months, because technically they say, so she's three weeks behind um, because she was born three weeks early. So they said that it depends on the weight and because she was a big baby, even though she was 37 weeks, she was born at nine pound. Um, so there was like it doesn't really matter you can just give it a and she was fine um what else have i got to update you on i started to do a little bit of tummy time and she screamed she does not like tummy time um sometimes she does actually sometimes she likes it so like the midwife and the doctor tried it she was laughing her head off and she likes to be on the tummy on me um but i tried it yesterday she wasn't a bit of a bad mood to be fair so maybe that was why but she cried and um, i definitely think she'll be an early crawler and walker because even when i put her on her tummy she's legs are going like her arms are going she can lift her head perfectly fine she obviously not perfectly fine she's still a baby but she holds her head so well she's done that right from the start to be honest um so yeah, she is progressing perfectly. Um, there's nothing else really wrong with her. We're still trying to work out the colour of her hair. It could be any colour. She's got ginger tints, she's got blonde tints and she's got brown tints. So her hair could be any colour. Um, she's far to sleep now and her eyelashes have come through. So yeah, I think that's everything I've got to update. Well, like I say, I will try and do these fingers crossed monthly if there is anything else you want to know then leave down in the comments below and i will reply to them but yeah i just cannot believe it little looked out on me i am loving it to be honest i hated pregnancy it was the worst time ever um so anyone that tells you pregnant wait till the hair it gets harder mine hasn't got any harder mine's got so much easier i sleep so much better I love having her here. I hate the pregnancy. I love having her here though. It's so different. Um, but yeah, like I say, I am extremely grateful because I do have a lot of people around me to help me um, to be able to get things done, to watch her. I am so grateful for that. And recovering from my C-section now, it's completely, I've completely recovered. Um, I want to try to show you my belly, but she's just... Let me try and put it down and I'll try and show you my belly and my scar. Okay, so really quickly. This is my belly. Right there. This is my two month belly. Obviously I do have a little bit of a pouch kind of thing. Um, but that is fine. I honestly am not bothered about that, to be honest. Um, let me try and show you my scar. So yeah, that is my current scar on my belly. Um, again, like I say, I'm not bothered really too much about that. I don't have any stretch marks or anything um, to like recover from. So yeah, that was Little Miss Millie Moo's two month update and my quick little update at the end. I feel like there's a million things I could say about her to be honest. I know she's only a newborn baby. But I notice every little thing about her. Um, so yeah, I feel like this, I could go on and on and on. But keeping it simple to the things people will probably be actually interested in. And not all the stupid little things that I'm like, oh my god, look at this. And no one actually cares. Um, but yeah. Let me know how your babies are getting on. If you have babies or if you're pregnant mummy or anything like that. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!